Let's learn a hundred common English idioms with their meanings and example sentences. This will be a two-part lesson. We'll do the first fifty idioms today, and the next fifty idioms in the next podcast. Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website espressoenglish.net, where you can get online courses and eBooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. Before I get started with these 100 idioms, I want to invite you to join my email list. It's the best place to learn about promotions because we often put courses on sale for a limited time. Visit espressoenglish.net/slash-500phrases, or click on the link in the show notes. You can join the email list and download a free ebook with 500 real English phrases to help you improve your speaking. Okay, let's learn a hundred idioms. Number one, a blessing in disguise. This means something that seems bad or unlucky at first, but turns out to be good. For example. Losing that job was a blessing in disguise because it pushed me to start my own business. Number two, a dime a dozen. This means very common and easy to find. For example, those souvenir keychains are a dime a dozen at the tourist shops. Number three, all ears. This means fully listening and paying attention. For example, go ahead, I'm all ears. Tell me what's been on your mind. Number four. All in the same boat. This means in the same situation or predicament. For example, everybody on staff got a pay cut. We're all in the same boat. Number five, barking up the wrong tree. This means accusing or blaming the wrong person or investigating in the wrong place. For example, if you think I took your book, you're barking up the wrong tree. I haven't seen it. Number six, beat around the bush. This means avoid the main topic or be indirect. For example, stop beating around the bush and tell me why you didn't show up to my birthday party. Number seven, bite the bullet. This means to face a difficult or unpleasant situation bravely. For example, I have to bite the bullet and tell him the truth, even though it might hurt him. Number eight, bury the hatchet. This means to reconcile or make peace after a conflict. For example. After years of not speaking to each other, they finally decided to bury the hatchet and become friends again. Number nine, by the skin of your teeth. This means just barely or narrowly escaping a difficult situation. For example, I passed the exam by the skin of my teeth. I got the minimum required score. Number ten, call it a day. This means to stop working or to end an activity. For example. We've been painting all afternoon. Let's call it a day and continue tomorrow. Number eleven, cold feet. This means when you feel nervous or hesitant about doing something, and often that you don't do it. For example, I was going to ask her out, but I got cold feet at the last moment. Number twelve, cost an arm and a leg. This means to be very expensive. For example, that luxury car must have cost him an arm and a leg. Number thirteen. Cry over spilled milk. This means to worry or complain about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. For example, yes, we made a mistake, but there's no use crying over spilled milk. Let's focus on finding a solution. Number fourteen, cut corners. This means to do something quickly or take shortcuts, often sacrificing quality. For example, don't cut corners on this project. It needs to be excellent to impress the new client. Number fifteen. Drive someone up the wall. This means to irritate or annoy someone greatly. For example, her constant humming drives me up the wall. I can't concentrate with that noise. Number sixteen, silver lining. This means something positive in a difficult situation. For example, losing my job was tough, but the silver lining was that I found a new career opportunity. Number seventeen, face the music. This means to confront the consequences of one's actions. For example, you made a mistake, and now you have to face the music and accept the criticism. Number eighteen, get a taste of your own medicine. This means experience the same negative treatment you have given to others. For example, 
After constantly making fun of others, he finally got a taste of his own medicine when they started teasing him. Number 19. Get the ball rolling. This means to start a process or activity. For example, let's get the ball rolling on this project and assign tasks to the team members. Number 20. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. This means to believe someone's statement or excuse without being too suspicious. For example, I don't have any evidence, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and trust his explanation. Number 21. Go the extra mile. This means to put in extra effort or do more than what is expected. For example, if you want to succeed in this competitive industry, you need to go the extra mile. Number 22. Hit the nail on the head. This means to identify or describe something accurately. For example, she hit the nail on the head when she said that our team needs better communication. Number 23. In the heat of the moment. This means in a moment of intense emotion when we act or speak impulsively without thinking. For example, I didn't mean to say those hurtful words. I said them in the heat of the moment. Number 24. It's a piece of cake. This means something is very easy or simple to do. For example, don't worry about the test. It's a piece of cake. You'll do fine. Number 25. Keep your chin up. This means to remain positive and optimistic during difficult times. For example, even though he faced many rejections, he kept his chin up and continued to pursue his dream. Number 26. Kill two birds with one stone. This means accomplish two things at the same time with a single action. For example, by taking the train instead of driving, she kills two birds with one stone, saves money, and helps the environment. Number 27. Let the cat out of the bag. This means to reveal a secret or confidential information. For example, she accidentally let the cat out of the bag and spoiled the surprise party. Number 28. Like a fish out of water. This means feeling uncomfortable or out of place in a particular situation. For example, as a city person, I feel like a fish out of water when I visit rural areas. Number 29. Make a long story short. This means to give a brief summary or conclusion. For example, he rambled on about his trip, but to make a long story short, he had an amazing time. Number 30. Miss the boat. Meaning, to miss an opportunity or chance. For example, I didn't apply for the scholarship on time, so I missed the boat. Number 31. Not my cup of tea. This means something that is not to your liking or preference. For example, I tried skiing, but it's not my cup of tea. I don't enjoy the cold. Number 32. On cloud nine. This means feeling extremely happy or joyful. For example, when she got the job offer, she was on cloud nine. It was her dream job. Number 33. Once in a blue moon. This means it happens very rarely. For example, we eat at home most of the time. We go to restaurants once in a blue moon for special occasions. Number 34. Out of the blue. This means unexpectedly or without any warning. For example, I hadn't spoken to her in years, and then, out of the blue, she called me yesterday. Number 35. Over the moon. This means delighted or extremely happy. For example, she was over the moon when she received her acceptance letter from the university. Number 36. Pull someone's leg. This means to tease or joke with someone. For example, He's just pulling your leg. He doesn't really mean what he said. Number 37. Put the cart before the horse. This means to do things in the wrong order. For example, you're putting the cart before the horse by buying furniture before finding a place to live. Number 38. Raining cats and dogs. This means raining heavily. For example, we can't go outside. It's raining cats and dogs. Number 39. Not ring a bell. This means not sound familiar or trigger a vague memory. For example, I don't think I know him. His name doesn't ring a bell. Number 40. Rule of thumb. This means a general principle or guideline. For example, as a rule of thumb, it's better to arrive early for meetings. Number 41. Shoot yourself in the foot. This means to do something that harms yourself unintentionally. For example, he shot himself in the foot by quitting his job without having another one lined up. Number 42. On the fence. This means to remain neutral or undecided in a dispute or issue.
for example. I can't decide which car to buy, so I'm on the fence for now. Number 43. Skeletons in the closet. This means hidden or embarrassing secrets from the past. For example, the journalist investigated the famous singer trying to find some skeletons in the closet. Number 44. Take a rain check. This means to postpone or reschedule a plan or invitation. For example, I'm sorry, I can't make it to the concert tonight. Can I take a rain check? Number 45. The ball is in your court. This means it's your turn to take action or make a decision. For example, I've given you all the information. Now the ball is in your court. Number 46. The best of both worlds. This means enjoying the benefits of two different things at the same time. For example, working part-time allows me to have a career and spend time with my family. It's the best of both worlds. Number 47. Show someone the ropes. This means to teach someone the details of a task or procedure. For example, during my first week on the job, my coworkers showed me the ropes. Number 48. The whole nine yards. This means everything or the full extent of something. For example, I'll make sure you have everything you need, equipment, resources, the whole nine yards. Number 49, through thick and thin. This means supporting or being loyal to someone during good times and bad times. For example, we've been friends for over 20 years through thick and thin. Number 50, throw in the towel. This means to give up or surrender. For example, after struggling with the homework for hours, he finally threw in the towel. Okay, that's it for part one, the first 50 idioms. Make sure to listen to the next episode so you can learn idioms 51 through 100. If you want to learn lots more idioms in a fun and effective way, join my 300 Idioms in 30 Days course. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the Idioms course. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net, where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.